I'm delighted to say I'm joined by the winner of yesterday's Hong Kong qualifier for the PDC World Championship, the legend himself, Paul Lim. How are you doing? I'm doing okay, except being stuck here for nine months and not going anywhere, but I'm all right. <laughs> well, you're going to be going somewhere soon, of course. We're talking just over 24 hours since you won that final to secure your spot back at Alexandra Palace for the PDC World Championship. What's the feeling been like since you won, knowing that you're going to be playing in the Worlds again? Oh, I tell you what, it was, uh, uh, I was, you know, in fact, I, I for, for for the last few months, you know, uh, having the chance to go to the, the PDC World Cup and I, you know, I was supposed to go and then next thing I knew I was, you know, uh, my partner from Singapore couldn't make it because of the regulation and all that. So I got the, we got the opt out. So that, that cut, you know, cut off uh, one of my my uh what what did you say the favorite tournament that i love to go to you know the world cup pdc world cup and then now having a ch i mean like i said then suddenly i, I thought this this was going to uh the, the the because of the asia tour not being there i really don't know how they're going to select and there was no news of any selection or qualifying and then suddenly on the last minute you know i think pdc has got to to someone that is going to organize and uh and I'm so glad that uh, that uh, we are, I mean, that the Asians anyway have a chance to still uh, qualify and, comp and and go and compete in the, in the World Championship. Uh, for me personally, it's like I say again, it's, um, it's it, again, I mean, it's an honor. I mean, always to, to be, I mean, I love that tournament, even though I, you know, I do play well sometimes there, and uh, but I really want to do better, you know, I mean since for the last nine months I've been stuck in a house you know practicing I hope it pays off anyway you know definitely yeah. and as you touched on there the Asian tour this year cancelled due to the, the pandemic so how excited were you when you found out that there was going to be a Hong Kong qualifier you were going to be able to play and get a chance to qualify for the world championship oh yeah yeah I was I know like I said when when the, the, the organizer actually uh, told me uh, that, uh, that there's going to be a qualifier and the date is set. You know, I was I was concerned. I was really concerned. Not so much, you know, that we have the we actually have the qualifier. I know I was more concerned actually. In fact, what's going to happen once you qualify? I mean, I was really thinking ahead <laughs> that I was going to win. I'm going to win it and go to England. But then I was thinking also, is that what is going to happen if the quarantine? What you know, coming back to Hong Kong, which is not a problem for me coming back. If I get quarantined in Hong Kong that's okay coming back but going there i was kind of a concern you know and i was asking a lot of questions about that so my mind was all around that and not really kind of thinking about whether whether i'm going to uh, uh win the sport or not you know what i'm saying i mean i kind of took things for things, things i mean i took things, things for granted then you know but um but i was i was confident uh, enough to kind of uh, feel that uh, you know, to the the, the the time I've spent on the on the dartboard. I mean, of, of course, it's no tournament, but I've spent so much time on the dartboard, and I can see myself improving and throwing more one eighties, and you know, sh uh, you know, better, shorter game. The averages are better, you know, uh, and it gave me a lot of confidence. So, you know, I was kind of a uh, probably counting the chicken before they hatch, but still, you know, I, I'm I'm glad I got it anyway. So, I proved myself right this time. So. You touched on as well about the the PDC World Cup. We spoke to your partner, would have been your partner, Harry Flim, on our, our show last month, and he was unfortunately unable to get to Austria for the tournament due to the restrictions in Singapore. When you found out about that, how much of a blow was it to miss out? As you mentioned, you've you've been at home, stuck at home for nine months. Uh, I, t I tell you what, I was I was kind of a, I'm so mad. I'm so mad at the situation, you know, uh, because he was all ready to go too, you know. But like I said, I can't really blame him. I mean, you know, uh, I was trying to find all kind of option for him to actually still go to Austria. You know, I was telling him, I said, maybe you should go to Austria and then come back to Hong Kong. Because the, 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 the problem is that he can't go to Austria and go back to Singapore. Because Singapore wouldn't allow him to go in because it was a lockdown. So, so I was telling him, I said, maybe you can go to Austria and then come back to Hong Kong and quarantine in Hong Kong for 14 days and then see what happened but i mean obviously i'm just saying that but i just don't think it's fair for me to really kind of impose that on him because it's, it really is a, it's a lot you know but he can't be away from his family and and his job and all that you know so so i i i was you know i really was dev devastated i was just kind of uh i wasn't happy because like i said again you know i really look forward to that that world cup because it's such a great tournament and i love representing the country you know and uh and um 
this all, for such a long time we have been off tournaments you know and I think this was something which I was been looking forward to and then suddenly everything you know ticket were booked hotel were, the hotels were all, all arranged and so I was all set to go get my test got my COVID COVID-19 test uh, and then it was you know I was kind of worried about that too but then it was negative so I got this, uh, the, the the test result I was happy and I was ready to go and I was and then everything came to a halt you know yeah, definitely a burner. It was a burner. Anyway. Well, let's get back to yesterday's qualifier then, and it was a, a close final in the end. You, you come through 7-5 to win it, and the, the player you played, we, we touched on him as well, just off air. He seems like he could be a, a player to, to watch out for. What is the, the dark scene like in Hong Kong at the moment? I know it's difficult with the virus, but does it look good for the future? Oh, yes, definitely. I think in Asia especially, I think... Uh, uh, because living in Hong Kong right now, I mean, I think the steel, uh, steel darts. Uh, I mean, Hong Kong is very popular for its soft darts anyway. But but with with uh, what's happening with the PDC Asia Tour coming in, and then uh, what actually uh, is, is PDC has provided uh, players a kind of a, a a dream or hope, you know, that they can actually uh, go to the big stage, you know, which everyone wants. And so uh, I think it drives. It drives a younger player now to go well, practice hard and things like that, and and get more involved with steel darts and all that. So so it was it was good, but it's a shame. I mean, we have a great league uh, in in Hong Kong still there, uh, but because again because of the virus uh, situation, the government uh, doesn't allow uh, you know there's a restriction in the bar, you know how many people to a table, and you cannot have a group. So the the league was uh, all kind of uh, uh, cancelled. So for this whole year right now, we don't have nothing to play because we we normally have uh, uh, what do you call the uh, the Hong Kong Masters every week where we play and we select the team to to play in the uh, the, the whether it's going to be the, the WDF World Cup or the uh, uh, APA Cup, the, the Asia Pacific Cup, you know. Uh, so but we we didn't have a chance this year, so everything is gone, you know. So so that was a shame, but uh, but we have we have. Uh, a big handful of uh, interest young players coming up now in in, uh, in Hong Kong for sure. I uh, watched the end of the the final yesterday and saw you and your opponent both wearing the the face masks as well while playing. Was that an easy adjustment or did that take a little bit of getting used to? Oh yeah, it was. I tell you what, you know, when I was told at first, right, there were two players telling me that, oh, we we have to because that was the last thing I heard. Uh, do you know that we have to wear masks to play uh, play in this tournament? I said, no, you're kidding, right? <laughs> So, um, because I, I was watching, you know, in England, I mean, when when the players' championship, nobody wear masks, right? Mm-hmm. Nobody does, right? I mean, so I kind of, uh, they say, yeah, but, but in Hong Kong, the government uh, restriction is that you have to wear masks when we with this with this one. So, so I, I really don't want to argue much about that. You know, I, I said, okay. So what I did is that I, I find a, 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 a proper mask because I, I try different masks and it feels different because some masks are thicker and bigger and or you know so I find one that is like is kind of a thin in uh, like the material and it actually cling onto my face so so I don't really feel the the, the you know the, the when I when I do the take back of the darts uh, it, it was uh, it bothers me so it didn't bother me at all and I and I practice for about three about three days you know and I keep doing it and keep doing it and um, and event- eventually I got used to it, but the problem is still the breathing because because it's so um, the breathing is has to be totally different. But uh, again, I, I tell myself I said, hey, everyone is facing the same problem, you know. So uh, you have to overcome. I, I, I myself I have to overcome the idea of whether it's uh, you know difficult or not. You know, I just got to mustn't let let that bothers me. You know, while I'm playing anyway. So. Uh, so it, it helps anyway. After three days of practicing, it gives me a, 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 at least more co- a, confident that I can handle the the, the mask with playing playing the mask on. Good to hear. Well, let's look ahead then. And we spoke to you a, a few months back now for our, our Darts Legend series, and we spoke about your career and 1982, your first World Championship debut at Jollies. You've now qualified for another one, and we've seen ever since then that the standard continued to rise. You've kept up with it. Do you still get the same buzz qualifying for a World Championship? I know you're going to be playing in the biggest tournament there is in Steel Tip. Oh, yeah. I mean, I definitely do. I mean, like I said, again, I, I know the standard of play has gone up. I mean, in, from the early days, even when the time with uh, the, 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 the Bristol and uh, the John Lowe, you know, I mean, all those 
uh, you know, uh, in the early days. I mean, the averages. You look at it now. Is I mean, it's, it's it's gone up so much higher. But but again, I mean, in every sport, I was you know, it's the same thing. Whether it's going to be a hundred meter dash, you know, I mean, the time is going to get better. But some some or other is going to stop somewhere. But uh, but same as same as our, uh, the, 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 in our averages, it does. I think you know. We, we, and once upon a time, when you hit a ninety average, it's like wow, you know, it's, it's, it's great. You know, you can really win championship with ninety averages in the early days, and then suddenly it goes become to a point of you have to be in the high nineties, and people are shooting in the hundreds right now. You know, but but obviously, I do know that you know, uh, uh, um, you, we have to get more consistent and more, uh, should I say? You know, yeah, but better in terms of averages, uh, in order to compete in, in the thought that we can actually win it. So, so uh, I believe that it's, it's tougher, but again, it's, uh, it's something that, that I think is the beauty of darts is that you, it drives you to be better anyway, you know. That's why I, I, I when I practice now, I feel that I'm getting better because I know my averages are better now, you know, than what it is before. So, it's a matter of just putting in, uh, during the match, you know uh, how how composed I am and uh, how how much adrenaline that uh, is pumping through me, and that I can control my my nerve a little and let it flow because I know I'm capable. Because like just before talking to you, I was just practicing on the dartboard, you know. And for the five legs, I I, I played well, just five legs. I you know imagine I have an opponent. I played five legs, and every leg was fifteen darts and below. So you know I know it's possible. So it's a matter of putting it. On the stage at the right time and doing the right thing, just like when when we do the night dart, it's just a matter of timing. That's all, you know. The right time, uh, you the, the, the right moment. You you if you do it, you'll do it. You know. You mentioned the night dart, of course, some great moments that you've had in in world championships. This is going to be your twenty fifth world championship appearance across both the codes. The nine dart in the BDO in nineteen ninety. More recent times, of course, the the one seventy finish against Michael Van Gogh was got to be a highlight. But for you, what would you say? Have been your favourite moments playing in World Championships over the years so far? Oh, definitely the Nidad. I think you know. Uh, I think the Nidad actually has 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 changed my life a big deal. Not not just not just darts alone, but you know my my personal. Uh, what I, could, I wouldn't say stardom, but I think recognition in a, in a, in a way because until this very day, no matter what it is, I mean, even though I'm, it's thirty years ago now, people still talk to me about thirty years. Ago when I did the night art, you know what I'm saying? It, it is very strange, but uh, that definitely was my greatest honor and my greatest memory. That's for sure, definitely. And lastly, before we let you go, I know it's still only a day since you won the qualifier, but any plans really in place for coming over to the UK? What are going to be the main hurdles that you've got to overcome, like quarantine and, and things like that? How are you planning on, on getting over to the UK and, and being ready for the tournament? You see, actually, in fact, I've I've written an uh, uh, email to uh, to 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 Matt Porter, uh, PDC, and I'm I'm waiting for an answer. Uh, I talked to Dave Allen too, but but the thing is that nobody has actually given me uh, uh, an answer in terms of the quarantine. But what I heard is that there, there there's going to be a letter given to me by PDC uh, on the invitation, uh, and with the it, obviously I have to go through my procedure like what I did for the World Cup in Austria. Is that in Hong Kong I have to go through a, a test. And get the the the, the, the uh, you know get it passed, and then uh, forty eight hours or something like that before I travel into UK with that in hand, and and with the letter from PDC, I do not have to quarantine. That's what I heard right now, but I have no confirmation from PDC yet. Because if I have to be quarantined for ten days or fourteen days, then my plan got to be really. Uh, uh, for example, right now the draw is going to be done on the third of December, right? Now, so if, if I'm drawn to play on the first day of the match and I'm going to be quarantined for 10, 10 days, it's impossible for me to be there. Am, am I right or not? You know, it's kind of a... So I, I really hope that there's no quarantine involved when I get to the UK. So then I can actually see what, what day I'm playing and I plan to come probably about four or five days before uh, before my, my, my match and get settled in, you know, and, and, you know, and things like that. So, uh, but if there's a quarantine, then my plan have to change. Uh, uh, what whatever the the outcome is, so I need to talk to PDC about that, and I'm and I'm still waiting. Anyway. Well, Paul, it's always a pleasure to chat to you. Do appreciate your time. Congratulations again on winning the qualifier yesterday, and safe travels over here to the UK. And we wish you all the best for the World Championship. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, and uh, you stay safe.
safe over there too. Okay. Ho- hopefully, hopefully there's there's gonna be great news and and I do well and then we can talk again. Okay. <laughs>